Ladies and gentlemen, the 2007 Chevrolet Volt Concept. It was the talk of this year's Detroit Auto Show, the next generation electric car. Not a hybrid, but a plug-in electric concept car capable of running 40 miles on its initial charge, then recharging itself as it moved down the road. An electrically driven vehicle is always driven um, by electricity, and even if you have an alternative power source like a small internal combustion engine, ethanol powered engine, basically it is creating power which is used to restore the battery. And so it's quite a sophisticated change from even a current hybrid system. GM says that 78% of us have a daily commute of less than 40 miles. To bring the vault closer to reality, General Motors just announced a co-development project with lithium-ion battery maker A123 Systems. The Chevy Volt is essentially uh, made possible by the improvements in the battery technology. Lithium-ion batteries are used uh, right now in laptops and cell phones. And uh, uh, people are used to uh, very long run times that they get out of those particular devices. What A123 has done is taken that same basic concept and uh, developed uh, an improved version that gives better power, safety, and life. But is a supersized cell phone battery really going to change the way we drive? This announcement is just another reason to believe that we are extremely serious about this particular Chevy Volt program. We've got a number of people in place here at General Motors. We've got suppliers in place. We've got additional development in place in order to bring this to fruition. GM says their goal is to have the Volt on the road by 2010 if the battery is ready. If they can do it, filling up for your commute may soon be a thing of the past. I'm Andrew Schmerz. We're changing the game in the way uh, battery technology has developed and the way it's behaving today. So things that you couldn't do before because of size or volume or weight, you can now implement in a variety of different kind of vehicles. So we're talking today about uh, the Volt and the implications it can have on the electrification of passenger vehicles. But the technology goes a lot longer than that. And we're talking about hybrid buses, um, uh, aircraft applications. The benefits of the weight and the size of these batteries have implications all across transportation.